the story. Kathy, good morning to you. Well, good morning. As you said it in the last hour, hundreds of people boarded buses here in this parking lot behind me headed to the Mexican border in hopes of stopping family separations. It's just heartbreaking and um, each of us, I feel we need to stand up and speak out and say no, this is not okay. And everything that this country was built on is being ignored by what we're doing to people that are trying to come into our country looking for asylum, looking for an opportunity to escape the violence and the death that they face in their own countries. Carrying signs, this one reading, families belong together. 300 people boarded buses outside the Resurrection Metropolitan Community Church. They'll join protesters from other Texas cities in Brownsville. 2,300 children have been separated from their families in recent weeks. President Trump last week signed an executive order to halt the separations. Then Tuesday night, a California judge ordered the government to reunite those families already separated. The president addressed the issue at a rally in North Dakota last night. Republicans want strong borders and no crime. Very simple, not complex. Democrats want open borders and crime, crime, crime happens automatically when you have those open borders. Also today, First Lady Melania Trump is headed to, toward the southern border for a second time. She'll visit an immigration center in Arizona. No details on exactly what will happen during her visits. And more protests are expected this Saturday in Washington, D.C. We'll, of course, keep you updated on this developing story. We're putting it live in Northwest Houston. Kathy Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News. All right, Kathy, thank you.